Hey, welcome back, Ram fans. It's finally here. Rams preseason game number one, the Cowboys visiting SoFi Stadium. Man, we've been waiting a while for this, haven't we? And I'm going to give you my game preview and not the typical previews you're used to. We're not going to do game predictions or keys to victory, any of that stuff. What should we be looking for? What should we be focused on in this preseason game? I'll go through pretty much the entire roster, each position group anyways, what we should be hopeful to see in this preseason game. Now, it's really difficult with the Rams because they do hold so many players back. And on top of that, a lot of injured guys. And I'm not going to focus too much on these injuries. I'm going to try to keep this upbeat. A lot of good things happening in Rams camp, and maybe we'll see some more good things in this preseason game, but it's going to be a challenge. Uh, some of these, couple of these units are so banged up, but um, hey, it's uh, a fun time. Let's uh, let's get ready for this Rams preseason game with the Cowboys, and I'm going to share with you everything I want to see, things I'm looking for in this game. So let's take a look at this offense position group by position group. What do I want to see? Well, let's start with the quarterback position. Stetson Bennett, he's going to play a lot. Maybe the whole game. I expect Dresser Wynn to get in a little bit. Now, the deal with Stetson Bennett is, you know, the Rams, I don't think the Rams drafted him uh, to be their future quarterback. I think they drafted him because of the debacles we have had at the backup quarterback position over the last few years, you know, Baker Mayfield and Carson Wentz stopped the bleeding there a little bit. But we drafted Stetson Bennett for that exact reason, someone that can come off the bench and play, play some pretty good quarterback. And in their interim, well, he takes that year off for personal reasons, so the Rams bring in Jimmy G., and so Stetson Bennett's actually third on the depth chart, but Jimmy G can't play the first two weeks. And apparently he is not going to play against the Cowboys. Sean McVay saying it's Stetson Bennett show unless Jimmy G begs him to get in. So let's find out some more about Stetson Bennett. Is he a guy that can come in and play legitimate quarterback? Is he a guy that can come in and play the position well? If something goes sideways for the Rams, especially in those first two weeks, if uh, something goes sideways with Matthew Stafford and Jimmy G, he'll be unavailable, remember? So let's uh, let's focus on Stetson Bennett there. And then along the offensive line, now the reason I want to go directly to the offensive line is because if these guys can't get it done, how much can we really find out about our running backs tight ends and wide receivers, right? And we're going to be missing a bunch of guys. And I tell you, Kevin Dotson and Steve Avila and Joseph Nopum as well better not set foot on this field. I'm sure they won't. Rams bring in three offensive linemen, street free agents, Matt Kasky, Alec Lindstrom, and Connor McDermott for this exact reason. How can we evaluate anybody else if we can have offensive linemen that cannot get it done and these guys have been around a little bit on NFL rosters and practice squads, and they're going to be augmented by some guys that have been around that we don't know much about, namely Logan Brass, Mike McMillan. Man, Brass, the experiment at right tackle, has apparently ended. So let's see if he can play well at one of the guard positions. And then there's the rookie, Bo Limmer, and he is the guy I am most interested in seeing because we need help along that interior offensive line, big time, depth-wise. And then there's Casey Levinston. I think he's still nursing an ankle, so he may not play. And Warren McClendon. Uh, he is apparently our backup right tackle. Uh, Joseph Noteboom's listed second on the depth chart. He'll be the first guy in at either tackle position. And then Warren McClendon. So Bo Limmer, Warren McClendon, those are the guys I'm most interested in seeing, and Leviston, if he can get in the game. I don't know about these three free agents, if any of them have a real shot at making this roster. 
Uh, I think they're really brought in to help the Rams offense get through this preseason with so many guys banged up and the Rams holding back starters for the most part. And running back, you know, Blake Corum, I think is an, I feel pretty confident he is as advertised. Am I excited to see him play if he does play? Absolutely. But I'm more interested in seeing Zach Evans, who I suspect is going to get the bulk of the carries, right? He has to. He should give this guy a shot, see what he can do uh, in a game, albeit a preseason game. I'm interested. He's gotten buried on the depth chart. You know, they bring in uh, Boston Scott and they draft um, Blake Corum. How do you think Zach Evans feels about all that? So a guy that really looks like he's headed for the practice squad. So I want to see him play. I want to see what Zach Evans can do. Uh, and hopefully, again, behind an offensive line that can open a few holes. Tight end. Um, are Colby Parkinson and Davis on going to play at all? Not really sure I care. Um, I really am more interested in seeing Hunter Long because I think he's going to play. It feels so bad for this guy. He started out, um, you know, he's drafted by the Dolphins, and it looked like he had a shot to to uh, have a role there. It never worked out. Comes over to the Rams, finally gets a shot with the Rams, and then he quickly goes down with an injury. He's a talented guy and uh, has a chance. Well, I think he will be our third string tight end. Um, at least so interested to see him play finally and uh, hopefully he gets a bunch of targets against the Cowboys and wide receiver you know we know Cup and uh, Nakua and probably Robinson are not going to play to see what Jordan Whittington can do Tyler Johnson we know what he can do he's going to be on this roster one way or another and as will Jordan Whittington but I just think Whittington, if, hey, if you watch this YouTube channel or follow the podcast, you know how much I love this guy. He is the epitome of a Sean McVay, Los Angeles Rams wide receiver in every way. And uh, again, hopefully Stetson Bennett gets some protection and can get the ball to Jordan Whittington. Can't wait to see what he can do. Let's move over to the defense. Now, what am I most interested in uh, up front? Everybody's talking about the pass rush. I'm feeling pretty good about the pass rush. We'll get to that in a second. What I want to see is how this defense holds up against the run because I think that's where we are thinnest. That's probably my biggest concern that teams are going to be able to run the clock and move the ball on the ground against us. I, I like our starters, Bobby Brown, Kobe Turner, and Braden Fisk. And if you look at the steps chart, very interesting. Rams only list two defensive linemen. They don't have a defensive end in that starting 11. And maybe this is uh, in, indicative of how they feel about their front. They're going to, they're, they're so thin. They're only going to start two guys. I don't think that's going to happen, but um, what I'm getting at here is Tyler Davis. Let's see what he can do. If he's a guy that can step up, improve, he can contribute in on a rotational basis really soon, uh, early in his career, his rookie year, going to be a big boost to this defense. And remember, I mentioned this in the past, Rams defensive linemen typically take a little while to contribute. You think about Greg Gaines, uh, Jonathan Franklin Myers, they kind of gave up on him completely. Uh, even Bobby Brown, you know, he's still hasn't really rolled yet. Can Tyler Davis come in as, as a rookie and contribute? That Let's watch him in this game against the Cowboys, focus on him, see how he holds up. Now, I'm going to go straight to the inside line, linebacker position. A lot of negative vibes uh, emanating from a Ram fans that I know about Ernest Jones and his knee, and I'm not going to go negative here. I'm just going to cross my fingers that things are going to be okay with him and he's going to be able to get through a season nursing that knee again. Um, and, and maybe I'm making, a mount, uh, I'm making a mountain out of a molehill. Uh, hopefully I am. But he's definitely not going to play. And if he's not playing, Christian Roseboom might not play at all as well. 
But there's two guys I do want to see play, and that's Fatu Kasi and Spates, the uh, two back, two of the backup inside linebackers pressing Jacob Hummel and Troy Reader for roster spots. And Fatu Kasi has shined in camp a little bit, made some splash plays, is what I've heard. And, you know, we all loved Spates coming out of college, uh, an undrafted free agent this year. And he has the ability to go sideline to sideline as well, do a little bit of blitzing. I think these two guys are going to get a lot of playing time, and one of them, I have a feeling, is going to make this roster. And we need another contributor at that position, a guy that can really make plays from the inside, inside linebacker position. Cornerback, you know, Kobe Durant, up until this joint practice with the Cowboys, heard he was flying around, making lots of plays, uh, looked like he was a legitimate potentially a starter at cornerback. Now, if you saw the depth chart, he's listed side by side with Trey White on one side and Darius Williams on the other as a starter, which means to me um, he is next man up if either one of them can't go. White returning from an injury, Darius Williams nursing a hamstring. So Durant, uh, apparently he's been playing really well. I think he struggled against the Cowboys. So Will he play? Probably not, but let's see what Charles Woods and Jerry Jacobs can do. Woods, an undrafted free agent that has had some really good moments in camp, and Jerry Jacobs, they just signed him coming over from the Lions. He was with the Lions last year, and both these guys have a shot at making this roster with the unfortunate injury to Terion Kendrick. And there's some other guys, too, that will be pressing for roster spots, Cam McCutcheon and a, a handful of undrafted free agents. But these are the two I want to keep an eye on, uh, Jerry Jacobs and Charles Wood, see if they are legitimate. Well, we know Jerry Jacobs is. He's started for the Lions, uh, Charles Woods, um, a little bit of an unknown. It's one thing to have moments in camp. It's another thing to uh, cover potential NFL wide receivers. I don't know who the Cowboys are going to run out there, so that remains to be seen. And then we have the, uh, what else can we talk about here? Cam Kinchins. Got to see what, I want to watch Cam Kinchins big time. He's going to play for sure, right? And he had a big hit against the Cowboys in that joint practice. And, you know, I think I have the sneaky suspicion the Rams uh, got a steal here. He's going to be a guy that is just going to be a big hitter, thumper, uh, run all over the field making plays. Love our safety group. Um, and Cam Kinchins is part of that equation. I think he's going to be a big time contributor this year. Uh, it, it, initially, probably just adding depth, but I think he's going to find a way to get on the field. The Rams are going to find a way to get him on the field. And we got some talent back there John Johnson, Cam Curl, and then you got, you know, uh, Quentin Lake and Russ East that are both. Uh, slotted at that star slash nickel uh, rolls. So where does Cam Kitchens fit in? I don't know. They're going to find a way to get him on the field. Now, I haven't talked about the pass rush yet, saving that for last. And let me touch on uh, going back to the Rams defensive line against the rush. You know, this has been a very good Cowboys offensive line. They've hung their hat on the offensive line. For it seems like 20 years, a little bit of a turnover here. They're bringing in two rookies, Tyler Goyton and Cooper Beebe. I suspect that they will play. And so, again, Tyler Davis matched up against them, but it, uh, also our pass rush, our pass rush dealing with a really good uh, Cowboy offensive line. Again, I'm not sure how many starters are going to play, but this would be a good test for Tyler Davis in the pass rush. So you got Jared Verse and Byron Young looking really good in camp. And Brennan Jackson, he's a guy that's going to play a little bit, and I have high hopes for him as well. Let's see what he can do. I really want to see what these three second and third stringers can do. Nick Hampton, O'Shawn Mathis, and Keir Thomas. You know, Mathis and Hampton, second-year guys, edge rushers. We just kind of forget about them. Uh, one or both of them are going to be on this roster. And we're going to need them to contribute. Byron Young and Jared Verse, hey, kind of like the Blake Corum thing. Excited to see them play. 
and hopefully they make some splash plays. But I'm going to be watching Nick Hampton and O'Shawn Mathis. Um, but, you know, <laughs> to be to be totally honest here, yeah, I'm really excited to see what Young and Verse can do. Uh, and, and hopefully they get some significant, some significant snaps. But Mathis and Hampton, Keir Thomas, don't forget about them. Let's see what they can do. Now, when you get to special teams, I'm curious who the kick returners are going to be. Uh, you know, it's on on paper, it's Tutu Atwell. So maybe uh, they got to give him some tries in this new system, this with this new kickoff role. So I'm sure he'll get some. He'll have some shots. I think some undrafted free agents will carry the load later in the game. Kick returns and punt, punt returns. And uh, interested in the Rams' strategy, returning and coverage-wise, man, after last year, just a, <laughs> special teams were so bad, just look mediocre, just don't embarrass us. And I think that's uh, just hopefully that's what we're going to see against the Cowboys. But, you know, what I want to see, what we all want to see when we're talking special teams, Joshua Cardi, please come through for us. Had a shaky day against the Cowboys at that joint practice, two for five. Hey, you know, we're so spoiled with Greg Leg and Matt Gay. Joshua Cardi is not going to match either one of them early in his rookie year. We just have to hope that we see steady improvement, gain confidence, he can walk out there against the Lions and kick a couple of field goals. And uh, the Cowboy game will be our first chance to see him. And, hey, I may be, uh, uh, man, I'm, this is probably the most important thing. If the Rams are kicking field goals, I'll be watching. Just hoping Joshua Cardi can put some of our concerns to rest. So preseason game number one against the Cowboys Hey, don't get caught up in the score. Hey, don't worry about the injuries while you're watching this game. It's an opportunity to watch a bunch of guys perform on the field, prove that they can help fill a couple of holes on this Rams roster and be big real-time contributors down the road. So enjoy the game. Have fun with it. Go Rams. Can't wait. Rams versus Cowboys. We'll have a recap after the game so check back here on the youtube channel that's all i got for now out here from rams up